Comrades, uh, there are hundreds and thousands of uh, people already uh, watching this event here in the platform and also on social media. Uh, we will continue with uh, the comrade Awais from Pakistan, from the struggle, and after him, the comrade Emre from um, the Sep of Turkey. Thank you, comrades. Uh, I would like, first of all, to thank the comrades of the International Socialist League and especially the comrades of Argentina MST comrades who put this task and uh, made this uh, con international congress conference a reality in which thousands of uh, youth and the people and the working uh, class from all over the world, from the different parts of the world, are joining us in this discussion. If we talk about uh, the pandemic crisis, which is going through right now, uh, and the whole world is jammed and locked down, the uh, capitalism has been halted. But in reality, the, this uh, COVID-19 just exposed the brutality of the capitalism. It's not the cause of capitalist brutality, but it, it just exposed it to the uh, general masses. We are witnessing the billions of people are deprived from the basic health care, from the shelter, from the quarantine centers. And at the same time, there are multi-billionaires who are just expanding their profits on the world scale. Even we are witnessing the first trillionaires uh, in this world. So uh, on the same time, we are witnessing that uh, there are huge movements. The anger of the working class and the students and the youth is pouring out. Uh, it's just not uh, during the pandemic, even before the pandemic, uh, we have seen the massive movements in the Lebanon, in the Iraq, in Chile, in Ecuador, in Brazil against Bolsonaro, and there is anger against Donald Trump in um, the USA. And there is crisis uh, of the capitalism, even the most uh, serious journals uh, of the capitalism, the Economist and the Financial Times and every other policymaker journals, they are warning the, the capitalists uh, about the, the upcoming depression after 2008. And this is the situation we are living in right now. This is the most unprecedented times of the modern history. The current generation never witnessed such huge crisis of the capitalism, and yet they are reacting to it. If we talk about uh, the situation in America, uh, the movement, the revolt, the anger of the masses uh, expressing itself in the very basis of modern imperialism. And on that spot, we have seen the idiotic and the stupid uh, policies of US uh, bourgeoisie and the Donald Trump. They, are not, they were not taking uh, pandemics seriously, and they are even crushing uh, those uh, discussions and the, those uh, uh, things uh, to prevent uh, the massive demise of the people. And still, if we talk about the Black Lives Matter, it's not a new uh, movement although it is the most powerful mo movement in our generation, but still we see the exploitation of the black people, of the Latino people, of the Asians, of the people of the color, has been decades that they are being exploited. There is anger that, that has been uh, accumulated and the brutal murder of uh, George Floyd just explored everything. And this movement, not in America, but all over the world, we witnessed many cities in Australia, the UK and Middle East, everyone expressed their anger against the imperialism. If we talk about Pakistan, uh, the situation here is uh, drastic. Uh, you can see that uh, it's a belated capitalism and the bourgeoisie, the comprador bourgeoisie is most incompetent in the region. They cannot control the crisis of capitalism. They even not control the crisis of pandemic. Upon that, they are doing some uh, bitchy politics about uh, different political parties. And on the other hand, Pakistan is now the fourth major country who is facing the uh, pandemic crisis. And they are uh, cutting down the education budget. They are cutting down the healthcare budget. And this is the one big reason that the healthcare facilities are deprived. There are no uh, uh, doctors available, no beds available, no uh, ventilators available. On the other hand, they have massive bombs, they have atomic bombs, they have missiles, they have tanks, they have everything. But not a single thing to cater the needs of the ordinary people, of the masses. And yes, we are seeing the things in the students, uh, the anger uh, among them. Because the government uh, and the, the uh, puppet regime uh, of Pakistan 
they decided to go on uh, for the online classes during this pandemic. And uh, in a country where 25 million kids uh, are out of school, they're on the roads, they're begging, they're collecting garbage. And uh, on the other hand, they decided to go for the online classes. And the students are protesting. Even in the most remote areas, they are protesting. And to, ki to kill the national, uh, uh, you can say the national exploitation, the na nationality issue, the people uh, there in the remote areas, the Fata areas, the Balochistan areas, the deprived uh, Sindh areas, the Gilgit areas, and the uh, Kashmir areas, the state already halted the 3G and 4G services. And when the services are halted, how can someone go for the online education? There is no on online education infrastructure in Pakistan. Students are doing token hunger, hunger strikes in almost all the major cities of Pakistan. And yes, uh, like uh, this conference have the theme that the uh, May 68 will uh, come again and it uh, turn over everything. Same like that, we have done a massive protest in November 2019 and the, with the same theme that the echo of 68, uh, uh, the, the slogans of uh, 68 will echo again. And we have seen the students are uh, the most, you can say the sensitive part, uh, the sensitive layer of the society. They express themselves more well and more militantly than uh, any uh, uh, other layer of the society. And this crisis is emer has emerged and Pakistan government and the Pakistan regime has nothing to do uh, with the uh, problems that ordinary masses are facing. And we are uh, witnessing a huge uh, uh, dramatic changes in the society and the politics of the Pakistan. The, uh, the current regime is the puppet regime of the army and the establishment. They, 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 crab, uh, they crushed all the dissent. They even uh, launched FIRs against the students. They launched uh, FIRs against the other uh, rebel political parties. On the other hand, they presented their annual budget last week. And this, in that annual budget, they gave nothing in the public health care system or to the education. On the other hand, they are going for the policy of the privatization. In one industry alone, the Pakistan steel mill is being privatized, which means 9,350 uh, workers will be deprived of their very food care and uh, health care and uh, shelter system. And same they are doing with the railways. And say they will do uh, the same policy with every other uh, uh, industry, uh, every other com public owned company uh, of the Pakistan. The workers will definitely rise again. We have belief on, uh, on the situation. They will not allow the regime uh, or the, the system to keep on crushing them. They, they rose in the past, in the, in the November 1968 and 69, they made a revolution. They uh, overthrown uh, the, uh, the most brutal army dictator, Ayub Khan, and this time they will rise again. And this time, this is uh, most important for all uh, over the world and specifically for Pakistan to build the forces of Marxism, to build the forces of revolution so that uh, in the past, which has been uh, now, the task of the uh, uh, revolution, the socialist revolution, has not been completed. This time, this uh, generation, the youth, the young people, has the, the burden on them. If, they, uh, if there is any uh, movement of the workers, of the youth, uh, or of the uh, ordinary masses, there will be no option but to uh, overthrow the system and build the revolution based on the socialist principles. Thank you.